Welcome back to my channel everyone. Today we're going to take a look at the solar cells after about 72 hours of operation. There's the amp readings on the two power supplies for one and two. There's what we're getting on the beast. If you look down here you'll see that this one is now chewing up the impure silver out of the anode basket much quicker than cell number one is now. That was a little baffling, but then I concluded that uh, this filter has been operating for three days. Cell number one. This one's only been in operation for two days because we replaced this one one day into the cell operation. Let's get down in here and see exactly what we've got going on in here. beautiful blue color with nice pure silver crystal formation I think if you look in here got a little bit of a deficiency uh, electrolyte wise the electrolyte level is down so we need to uh, add some electrolyte I've got about 200 milliliters of electrolyte I'm gonna go ahead and add this in now I'm just going to keep an eye on the level and uh, add just enough so that we cover the pure silver crystal that's formed along the edge of the cathode. That should do it right there. Now let's get in here and stir this up. Cover this opening, make sure nothing falls down in there. Now we'll get a little bit of silver and add some into the anode basket up here. You can see the amps have come up a little bit. And if you notice, down here I've installed a uh, inline fuse that goes from the positive side of the power supply and provides a means to break the circuit in case we get the silver crystal coming in contact with the anode filter basket. Let's take a look down in cell number two. It's not as bad it's got a little bit of deficiency of electrolyte. So look down in the cell here. This is looking real good. And it's beautiful. That color blue is really something. Here you can see the electrolyte level is low in this cell number two. I'm going to add some fresh electrolyte. Let's go ahead and give this a stir. Seventy-two hours of uh, crystal formation in our silver cell. Looking real good. the reading on the uh, amp for cell number two. Cell number two definitely needs some more impure silver added. Our current flow. Now let's go over here and take a look at the beast. Current flow there. Down in here to see what we got 
is going on. Oh wow. That's gorgeous. You see the crystals forming down here below the anode filter basket. It's looking good. And I can tell that the uh, electrolyte level in this cell is low as well. So let's go ahead and add a little bit while we're in here. Nice. I think we've got the maintenance done now and uh, I'm not going to add any more silver into the big cell here and what we'll do is make up a new anode filter basket using the thin material once this gets consumed and the silver drops silver level drops in here I'll make up a new anode filter basket with the thinner material and we'll run it that way. So this will conclude this video. Uh, day three, the end of day three, 72 hours of silver cell operation. Thank you for watching.